I'm Winston Giesick, Philanthropy and Special Sections Editor for the Desert Sun in Palm Springs, bringing you the latest goings-on in this great state of ours. In California brings you top Golden State stories and commentary from across the USA Today network and beyond. Get it free, straight to your inbox. In a warning letter to state legislators Monday, officials from Bank of America, the bank contracted with the ED to issue debit cards containing unemployment benefits, said that 640,000 suspicious accounts had been identified and should be investigated, including claims filed in the names of infants, children, centenarians and people living in states not contiguous to California. It's thought to be more likely for unemployed Californians to retreat to adjacent states. In the letter, the bank estimates that the amount of fraud could total $2 billion. The Los Angeles Times reports that this, represents the highest estimate of fraud yet in a system that has paid $110 billion since the COVID-19 pandemic triggered a wave of joblessness in California beginning in March. John Kupal, president of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, called this news, outrageous. We understand that there was an effort to push as much money into the economy as possible, but there has got to be some controls, he said. It is like they have opened up a bag of cash in the middle of a tornado and hoped that it ends up someplace where it is supposed to be. Representatives of Ed and the governor have not yet commented, but Assemblyman Jim Patterson R. Fresno, said Monday that too many Californians who need their unemployment benefits are being stymied by red tape. Identifying fraud must be a priority, but Californians with no income cannot be sacrificed on the altar of incompetence, he said. A former senior House Democrat, Becerra will oversee the $1 trillion-plus agency with 80,000 employees and a portfolio that includes drugs, vaccines and leading-edge medical research and health insurance programs covering more than 130 million Americans. As California's Attorney General, Becerra has served as the leader of a coalition of Democratic states defending the Affordable Care Act from the Trump administration's attempts to overturn it. A legal case is awaiting a Supreme Court decision next year. Prior to serving as California's Attorney General, Becerra, whose mother was born in Mexico, had served for more than a decade in Congress, representing parts of Los Angeles County. He had also served in the California State Assembly after attending law school at Stanford. Governor Gavin Newsom, a Democrat, has said that his new stay-at-home orders and business shutdowns in regions where hospital intensive care unit capacity falls below 15 percent can flatten the spiking curve in COVID-19 cases until vaccines are available. However, at least two county sheriffs say they won't enforce the restrictions.